we often have students ask why study further maths or what the difference is between maths and further maths. Hopefully you are aware that if you study further maths you also have to study maths, it's an additional A level. And we would really strongly recommend if you know that you want to study a mathematical course or you want to go into this field in the future. So previous further math students have gone on to study maths degrees, um, computer science degrees. We've had students studying pharmacy, Morse, engineering. If you are interested in that field and you already know that's the way you want to go, then a further maths A level is really, really beneficial. The maths is of course different to what you will study in your pure maths, but the two work together and you will develop such a great skill set that the two A-levels really, really support and enhance each other. Further maths is slightly different to the maths. In further maths, we have pure mathematics, which builds on what we learn in further maths. So there's a lot of complex numbers, so looking at um, square roots of negative numbers and imaginary parts of numbers. We look at further calculus, we look at a lot of modelling with differential equations and we look at a lot of vectors and modelling in 3D. On top of that, in the further maths, we have two optional contents. So we opt to study the decision maths in year 12. It's a very nice module, very similar to lots of computer programming, that you may be interested in looking at in the future. The decision maths is a nice standalone module, which is a great place to start our studies. In year 13, we will either study further mechanics or further statistics. It generally will depend on the makeup of the group and what the best option will be for the group as a whole. So the further maths has four exams at the end of year 13. We have two pure exams which are 80 marks and they're both an hour and a half and then we have two applied exams so one will be the decision and one will be the second option that we choose and the applied exams are also both 80 marks and an hour and a half. The structure of the further maths lessons and homeworks is incredibly similar to what we would expect in maths. Again the focus is on students going away and spending a lot of time working on their own to get their skills to a really high standard. And then we can focus in class on exam technique, modelling exam questions and looking at how we can apply our skills. So further maths I think is a really excellent op option if you know that you want to take your maths further or if you really, really love maths and you just want to keep developing your skills, it is an excellent choice. But please don't forget, you have to take it alongside maths. So if you are taking maths and further maths, they will take two of your options. Thank you very much.